I feel like I wasn't educational enough in my uh, previous video. So we're going to go into a little bit of mag size here, okay? I've only got 30 rounds. Right? My DPS here is like... Yeah, uh, 10.9. I'm still able to kill a named elite. Okay, I've literally got nothing in the mag. I could have put extra 10% crit damage in there, which would actually up my DPS. Okay, if we put it in so that we've now got 50 rounds, my DPS doesn't change. Oh, look, 10.9. My DPS will not change. Your TTK is governed by your burst DPS. There's nothing more to it really you can go into sustained dps calculations in which case yes your mag size does make a difference but your ttk is still going to be governed by your burst dps all sustained dps is doing is calculating the amount of damage that you will do over your over two full magazines or three or four or five adding in your reload it has minimal to no effect on your time to kill at most from what i have seen it's like half a second and this is for dropping 20 rounds so here we go with la spreda shita of course both builds are actually the exact same, just one's calculated with a 30 round mag, which is the top build, and the bottom one is calculated with a 50 round mag, which is the bottom build. A named delete on a heroic has 19,789,229 health. If you want to know how I got that number, I've done another video, uh, Enemy EHP. Yeah, as you can see, their DPS is the exact same. 30 round mag from full to empty takes 2.1 seconds, time to kill is 2.0 seconds 50 round mag full to empty takes 3.5 seconds time to kill two seconds now depending on your talent weapon talent specifically having less rounds in the magazine can actually net you a quicker ttk point in case on this is optimist see optimist kind of lies it says it scales per like 10 percent missing ammo it doesn't it scales per missing bullet so if you have less rounds in the magazine that means you get a higher dps jump per bullet missing which means if i knew how to calculate optimist correctly you'd probably see that that having less rounds would give you like I mean, it would be a bull hairs difference, but it would probably be a smaller time to kill because I'm getting higher DPS increments per stack of Optimist. Because I'm also hitting those 10% margins quicker. Now, I did also note in the previous video that, you know, True Patriot is a thing. This increases magazine size, magazine capacity. But the main thing that people run True Patriot for is the four set. It debuffs enemies, making them do less damage to you. Not by a lot, but it helps. It heals allies when they shoot enemies. Not by a lot, but it helps. And it also adds a multiplier that increases all damage that the enemy takes from pretty much all sources. And they can also explode with fireworks. We like fireworks. However, my argument to you is, if magazine size increases TTK, can someone just explain this to me? magazine is doing so much this is all burst dps your ttk is 99.9% .9 governed by your burst dps there's no ifs about it there's no buts i'm not delusional you can sit there and wait all you want there is no change okay the math doesn't bloody lie about this your ttk is governed by your burst dps your burst dps is your rpm 
divided by the time, typically we'll do 60, which is 60 seconds. So that gives you an accurate ratio of how many bullets you will do per second. And then you need to figure out your average damage between crits and non-crits, headshots, not headshots, crits on headshots, etc. So it's your RPM divided by 60 times your actual damage output per shot or your average damage output per shot. Your magazine size does not even enter the equation. The only time you take your magazine size into consideration is if you do sustained DPS equations. Typically, this will just be for things like raid bosses or chungas. If you're running a skill build, you don't need to worry about sustained or scoop at all. Your skills have it covered especially with things like drones and turrets. They will continually fire. From what I can figure out, they have an RPM of around 650. It's kind of hard to figure out because they do like a five or six round burst. I can't quite remember. And then they pause for a second and then they fire again. So it gets really annoying to try and calculate it, but it seems to be about 650 RPM. But they don't reload. And they don't have a mag size. So their sustained DPS is, in a theoretical sense, infinite. So, what use does mag size have? Well, typically you would find mag size will have a large impact on varying different talents. Simply things along the lines of strained. Probably one of the most powerful DPS talents in the game. The longer you can have strained up and active at its maximum capacity, the more burst dps you will do how to actually increase this performance of strained is increase your mag size ironic other things such as debuff or buffing an enemy one of the main reasons true patriot is kind of a thing is you need to allow enough time within that one magazine to get all three buffs slash debuffs on the enemy depending on the fire rate of your weapon Typically for this, a slower fire rate weapon will actually do the trick, although increasing the mag size doesn't hurt either. Increasing the mag size of your weapon is kind of a weird nuance. It is not going to have a direct effect on your TTK, but considering the options that we have to put in your mag slot for a mod, it's kind of the only real viable option other than reload speed. There is a mag option for an extra 10% critical hit damage. This will actually massively increase your DPS and your TTK. The main reason we run a mag slot for more bullets is simply the fact that we like to kill more than one enemy at a time. Have fun, good luck, don't die. It's bad for the health.